Hey everyone, welcome to Dr. Chess. Today I am going to show you Mating 4, also known as the Scholar's Day. So stay tuned till the end. This mate is very interesting and it's very important to understand. As, and it's the basic of chess. So all the beginners you need to know this. If you are an advanced player and intermediate player, do not worry. Today I am going to explain the Napoleon variation also in the scholars meet and also I am going to show you cool chess puzzle at the end of the video. So stay tuned while I just brief you about the scholars meet. Okay, now let's start. The scholars meet is a four movement which is very impor important to understand because uh, your opponent can just trick you and win, win the game in an overboard game or online game all ideas in chess are based on this tactic everyone must know this college name so i'll just show you how it goes e4 e5 Uh, now either queen f3 or queen f5 both are okay we'll just go with queen f3 for now then we have suppose black plays knight knight c6 then we play bishop c4 piling up on this f7 pawn but black does not re realize this and pushes g 6 to Fiankato the dark square bishop but we deliver checkmate on the next move as you can see black is in check he has no move possible so this is a checkmate so and now we'll discuss what if queen h5 well this maintain this diagonal and also threatens this pawn so black will defend we do we play the bishop move again and suppose black plays any other move like this we just deliver checkmate on the next move so this is the scholar's mate the scholar's mate can be also done with black so i'll just show it with black suppose I'll just flip the board for your convenience so e, e4, e5 not this uh, move suppose uh, yeah black yeah then this suppose then white continues right x3 then we again deliver checkmate over here so Does this mate have a defense? Of course you have a defense for this mate. So the defense for this mate is to understand this threat from white. So I'll show you the defense. E4, E5, we go dive straight for the scholar's mate. Suppose black continues like this. And then we either do a queen queen e7 controlling the square so now if we can capture the queen and just we are up material so that's not an option for white so if knight knight f6 is play uh, okay instead of queen e7 knight f knight f6 is also a good move actually it's the best move since now white has uh, black has developed his knight and also while defending the threat so this queen is now useless on this diagonal so we'll just move the queen back we white uh, black grab this center and now just blacks better as you can see so this was the defense of the scholar man. but feel free to Check the scholar's mate in your game as it's very good. I especially try it in some bullet games to get some quick wins. So, now for the intermediate and advanced players. 
we are going with the Napoleon variation of a scholar's name. e4, e5, knight f3, knight f3, knight c6. Sorry, that's the Italian game. We are not discussing the Italian game. So, queen f3. And suppose black plays this move, then we play let's yeah we play bishop c4 threatening mate black develops uh, the knight and then we go with the napoleon variation as you can see we are planning to play g5 on the next move now you might think why g5 why let's develop our pieces first well if suppose black plays anything like e3 then we play g5 and suddenly you know there's a problem because if we no move this knight anywhere like suppose knight back then this is checkmate so white cannot move uh, black cannot move the knights so he'll have to give up the knight after something like this so we just won a knight and this complete uh, game is completely winning for us so no need to discuss that so this was a napoleon variation in the napoleon variation you might face two more replies from black if you understand your g5 tactics so when you play this move he will either play d d6 um, d6 with the threat that if you play this then he will play bishop g4 after you move the queen let's say over here white will just black will just move his knight and the game continues so there's no harm in this but but this one is the most best defense for black let's say we play this with the idea of this um, and he plays knight d4 this is considered the best defense for this attack now you go as you know the queen is threatened and also there's a nasty discovery over here so if you go here sorry the pawn sorry this square is covered and this square is covered by the knight so you can't move along this diagonal to deliver checkmate let's say you move it over here but then black has this nasty threat of knight c2 so you'll either have to play these three moves to defend it queen back to d uh, d8 uh, uh, queen back to d1 or queen d3 or queen c3 anything is fine but i would suggest you go for queen d3 with the idea now that uh, suppose uh, now black captures this pawn you play c3 attack the knight and the knight goes back and you have this again threat let's say the knight moves back and now we are already threatening, uh, threatening a lot of nasty discoveries so this was the napoleon variation of the scholars mate you can definitely try it out it is very fruitful if you're upon if you're playing a bullet game it's very good so i would suggest you go for it now to finish off the um video i would i'm gonna show you a game which was played in the pogo chance tournament now Many you may ask me what is Pope Champs tournament? Well, it's a tournament organized by chess.com which which uh, uh, which in which amateur players play. Well, uh, this tournament by the means amateur players they mean uh, very successful YouTubers or or Twitch streamers. So this game, I'm going to show your game to illustrate the scholars win. So this game was played in the poke champs between Q, Q2C and most critical.
so q2 c opens the key for e4 e5 knight c knight f3 knight c6 knight c6 and q2 c immediately opens the position with d4 this is called the scotch opening as now if black captures the game is equal this is straight away going for a draw and this uh, position has been reached many times but after this and knight recaptures most uh, there are lot of options for black like the top moves recommended by the engine are knight knight f6 or you can even capture like this but most cri critical goes for bishop c5 this is an okay move it's not bad but uh, there could be some tactics in this position so white defends it by playing c3 now c3 is a very strong move as you know because if knight captures pawn captures and suddenly black, uh, white has a strong center and after the bishop moves you can just develop the knight and you can see white is slowly gaining control of this game and uh, instead of c3 the if we play bishop e3 well why develop the bishop on this square when you can use it later to harass the knight which is coming over here on f6 so c3 definitely a good move so after the c3 move black plays queen f6 and this is where the fun starts so he's threatening this diagonal even in future if this knight moves segment is possible and he's also piling up all his pieces on this knight so and he's threatening now if knight now if some stupid move then knight captures pawn recaptures and bishop captures and black just wins a pawn and he has some threats in this position like checkmate and all but as this was a game between the matches white completely misses the idea and goes for knight into c6 now all of you feel free to pause the video and find the best move for black while i give you a couple of seconds okay i'm sure most of you found it as it's mate in one simple queen f2 this is what black played and black won this game in a splendid style so this was about the scholars mate and the game if you want some more information about the poke champs tournament i'll put it after the video so make sure you watch the video till the end now for today's puzzle it's black to play so yeah white just played this move completely ignoring black spread now it's black to play and mate in four with precise play with precise play i mean that with the best moves played from black and white it's a mate in four so feel free to find this combination i will definitely tell you the answer in the next video but do find this combination which wins over here i hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe to view some more content which i post on this channel and like and share the video bye